Uh, was, was showing us some video footage. I don't know if you caught that. Did you see the cam he's doing? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what is going on. He's having some fun. I see a couple big hands here. Ace, queen, and tens. Folds to the button. Forrest is going to go ahead and open for the min raise. And two tens here. Kind of curious if we'll see a three bet or a flat. What do you like here, Mike? I think he's going to have to three bet and go with the hand probably. It looks like what Pedro's probably decided to do. And here is as Forrest. What do you do? You know, your hand is kind of way too strong to fold. Flatting is, is certainly an option, but you know, with an offsuit hand like offsuit ace queen, you, you very often want to go all in in this spot. So can't really yeah, blame well, Look at this. I mean, what a what a what a massive pot to start. Ace queen to tens. Tens is gonna be in the lead going to the turn. Let's see that slow, sweaty river peel here. Is it paint? Is it the the space ace? It's not. What a pot for the Brazilian. This is just gonna get all on pre-flop here. Playing against, you know, pretty good players that you don't know that much about. Uh, it can be tough because you don't really know, you know, you want to ideally be able to find some some exploits uh, and it's just not always that easy to know which way to lean. Bam, look at that, the king, wow. wow. That is uh, that is, that is a wild run out right there. Yeah, we got another interesting hand here. Pedro's decided to three bet the nines and now he's kind of put himself in this tricky spot in the middle here where he has a hand he probably doesn't really want to fold. You know, shoving or calling here are not very appealing either. Yeah, calling can't feel too good. I, I would think he does do it and this is the problem. You get the jack six four, 2.1 in the million, 1.6. And Nico stack. Be curious how, how Pedro handles this. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, after calling free flop, how is he really supposed to get away from this? I wouldn't be surprised if he just decided to go with it here. You know, I hope he runs into the ace king or a bluff, but no, he, he does call. Is there ever a scenario late. where he gets to win it? I don't know. I mean, there's so little left to play. It would be tough to get it through, but that, you know, that is air on this. Nines and tens probably aren't really supposed to play this way very often. So I'm not sure if Pedro's gonna go for it or not, but I wouldn't blame him if he did. So I guess the question he's thinking is, what would ace king do or ace queen suit it? Would they check it twice? And wow, he does go for it. And Nico gets the nightmare turn card and then goes ahead and now has a very difficult decision. Like you said, the big problem here is you can't expect nines and tens to necessarily play like this. Wow, audience, what do you think? Call fold he's like spot on right he's just like dead on can't decide like he's like flipping coins wow he does go ahead and fold and you know credit to pedro I'll see if rodrigo can uh i imagine pedro is just gonna jam it in here the way he's been playing i'd be kind of surprised if he didn't and we've already seen aaron make this call with nines in a similar spot yeah this would be wild if he somehow folded this i just don't think that's the case but yeah i would think that this is a better call than the last one with nines but uh not uh, entirely <laughs> sure it's oh, close. Oh, yeah, it's time. interesting. A little uh, frisky there with the king ten off three bet, but perhaps a little frustrated after the previous hand. Pedro yeah. was in an interesting spot here. Now he's decided to peel, uh, which as the chip leader, you know, you can be a little bit more uh, liberal. You know, calling queen nine suited uh, the small blind is, is going to go with the small block here, which I think is understandable. Ole has got a hand here that's going to have to call. Yeah, interesting river card for sure. Now, if Pedro decides to. So he checks now Ole though with 1.9, 1.1 in the pot. Very, very interesting. Does he go for the whole enchilada? Does he go big? Does he not have to go big? What, what do you like for a size here about Ole? I think with the ace of spades, I probably just like the big size. I mean, yeah, all in or like effectively all in. Uh, I don't, yeah, I, I think it's just a strong play from Ole. I think he chose the right size here with, with this hand. You know, when he has the flush, he definitely wants to bet all of it. How, how unreasonable a call would this be though? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if he calls here. I don't. It's just because he he spells something. He thinks something funny is going on. It's not for uh... Pablo with a little bit of internet. It's never fun to disconnect in a high stakes or any tournament. But if a final table, a lot of money up for grabs. Future me showing good sportsmanship. Clean. Even the hand like yeah. you know queen eight, um, very possible. Even ace queen of course. So lots of queens. But even you know he could check back some strong hands as well himself. You know checking back a hand like pocket aces or something is. Uh, you're probably uh wow pedro's getting after it here not good timing and you flip or somehow you're cooler but it turns Quack. out that pedro's got another candidate here will he go after ole again and he does and uh you know ole's got a tough tough spot here you know my guess is that he's probably supposed to fold but if he senses that pedro's just too far out of line you know the ace jack's a hand that he could make a stand with wow um again you know this this may not seem yes. like such a incredible play but really like again the timing 
Is that, yeah. that does he save that or is that is, is he just going live and doing it differently every time? Ace is here for future me. We we're just saying he hasn't really got dealt in or had an amazing situation, but he does have a good spot here with aces against all his suited wheel, ace four suited. Pops it up to 800k, goes a little smaller. Not really that yeah, well, got the, the size hand. in this. Well, he's got the hand he can bluff with here. He was gonna bluff jam. If he just he, got one through the ace jack offsuit, maybe he's feeling it, you know. Wow. He also saw that the King 10 probably came on loop from the stream, saw that earlier out of the small blind light one. Ace four suited does get on the dance floor. It needs still some runners. That is a potential chop. Big, big, big moment for future of me. You said he played with him a few times, right? Yeah, I played with him. Definitely a strong player. Future of me is oh, got boy. a problem. Oh boy, is right, man. Wow. They got around the same stack and they've been aggressive. Take offense or put a little lighter in this particular spot. Wow. wow. The guy three bets everything and now doesn't light. He's he's messing around. And he wants to just flat. This is actually a crazy situation that just happened. Hand is Can you definitely talk not me through what we were expecting? I've been so impressed with Pedro. Can you explain why you would want to play so aggressive and then actually get a hand that you have it? Like I would think that's like the easiest three bet of of, of life. Yeah, uh, I think it's a, I mean, obviously like looking at the cards, it's easy to say it's a huge mistake, but I, I really do think that was just a strange moment where he just decided to make a really, really fancy play. And oh, oh boy, look at oh, this. this now. Yeah. Very interesting. I think the sizing will be very much maybe a too little fair. bit too small here. I'm not sure. I mean, certainly I think Pedro has to call this size, but uh, it does seem like a little bit too small. Like he can find hands to bluff with here. I think. Future of me is fighting for that chip lead with 9 million about tied and Pablo now short stack and Pedro who was chip leader for so much this final table finds himself in third and future of me they say it's not so fun when the bunny's got the gun and he is now turning up the fuel Pedro just decide you know what this is too convenient that he's three betting me now as the chip leader I have a pair it's four handed do I want to surf it in but do I really want to put it at risk for the difference and cheer kudos to the future of me nice play and this could get saucy I mean this is good future of me and take it up probably up really big here, I would imagine. 1.6 was the number I had in my head. He beat me to it. A Ram, in a sense, I feel like he's very aggressive, but when he gets ag aggression showed to him, oh man, I mean, I just can't imagine oh, folding right pre after the King Jack suit calls, and this is quite the flop for future me. He goes 700K, and A Ram is gonna be put in likely a very difficult situation. Of course, there still is cards to come, but at the moment, he is in dire straits. That card could save him. Yes, that's gonna, that's gonna help keep less money going into the pot. But of course, I think the King Jack suited in this situation was way too strong. Yeah, I'd like to see Aram make like a smallish bet here and then check back and you know preserve a lot of his stack. But he's not going to do that. Now he's going to face a big bet most likely. Let's see what he does. He's got the key card. He knows he's not getting raised, right? So it's sort of just set your price. Oh wow, so he goes small, very small. Wow. Yeah, I think he's also thinking maybe I can get this back. Definitely with the backdoor flush draw, some cards that kind of connect uh, as the big chip leader. I do think he might attack a little bit. Yep, spot on. And he is putting Pedro to the test here. Very draw heavy board. Eight nines are straight now. He actually does pick up double gutted. He's got Pedro in the cage a little bit here. Pedro has a lot of ace high unpaired hands in his range that are going to be. And this will be an interesting one. I think future of me is probably going to have to go for it here. And load the clip here. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a pretty good one to go for. Pedro can beat some things, but it uh, he does always seem to be legitimately thinking about some of these hero calls. A lot of money on the line, 95,000. Well executed hand, future of me really putting on. Here we go, wow. So here is a very interesting spot, Aram. I don't know, you think he's mandatorily calling here? I think he's probably got a call. Uh, I mean, if he folded, I wouldn't be completely shocked, but yeah, there we go. He does call and he has got a very nice start to the thing. Sorry, he says, scam. he's really, he's, he's pushing the envelope here and oh, uh, is that a, oh, the game is so cruel. Down to, it's gonna be over in one second. Ace four suited is in the lead, seven, eight off, and it is good on the flops. It is it. That That's is it. your champion, future of me.